Okay, it should be live now. Is anyone there? Be posting to Twitter and uh, Facebook and YouTube real quick before I start playing. So just gonna wait for people to come on by first. Welcome, JC. Sharing this to my other socials real quick. But it looks like we're doing good so far. Is there any lag or anything on the screen, even though it's just the PS2 boot up screen? Hopefully, if there is, it's, just, it's minor enough not to be concerned at all. Awesome, okay. I guess I'll play for probably two and a half hours. We'll see how far I get in the game. Well, two to four hours, I mean. As long as everything goes well. Share this to YouTube real quick, and then I will get the game, and we'll get started here. Since I'm posting this without any warning, there's probably not going to be a lot of people, but that's okay. Okay. Alright, time to load the game in. Oh, I should probably get my control memory card plugged in too. <laughs> Let's see. I forgot which controller I usually use. I got like two PS2 controllers and one of them is better than the other and I always forget which one it is. I was just playing Barnyard on this thing like earlier this week, so... Probably play that too in the near future on this. I don't know if I'm going to start doing this weekly or something, but uh, yeah, who knows? Okay. Yeah, this is the controller right here. Okay, we're good. Sorry for being on the, on the screen for so long. I'd like to get started in the game here. Alright, I just put the disc in, so we're going to get started. Oh, I wonder if 
wonder if I could turn the game up a little bit, because it's... Like, is, is the game uh, too quiet or loud enough? I guess I'll have a chance to find out soon. Let me switch the input real quick, because that does not look good. There we go. So what happened was I had the game uh, set up with uh, S video, and it yeah there was like a bunch of like dots or something on the screen. It, it just looked it just looked like really off on the screen. So I switch it back to um, composite. And yeah, it looks much better. Okay. So we got four people on the... So probably start with that and be good. Okay. Oh, wow. Did I... Apparently I started a playthrough like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Duh, that was the... Uh, that was the live stream last year attempt. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and... We'll just replace that one. Alright, we got six people here. How's everyone doing today? Oh, whoopsie. I didn't want to load it. I want to start over. <laughs> this is a great start. Great start right here. <laughs> okay, new game. Oops. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, uh, pretty much... This is a more laid-back environment, so I'm pretty much cool to answer whatever questions people have. Uh, I just want to... Yeah, I'm cool with talking and stuff like that, so... Yeah, let's start up a discussion, shall we? Since it's the PS2 version, we're going to have uh, some... Uh, Longer load and save times, too, so a playthrough this game on the PS2 is always going to be the longest. 
Hey, in the zone, welcome. Yeah, it looks like things are going a lot better than my stream last year. And I would hope so because my upload speed is five times faster than it was last year. Now at some point I'll get a webcam so I can start uh, so I can have my face on here as well. And uh, I'd also like to get a green screen too at some point in the near future. So that way it'll be a little more professional, I guess. I don't know. So I don't have any backgrounds in my webcam. There's, there's a lot of stuff in the plans for now. So I was thinking I would do is maybe I'll stream once a week and I'll just uh, play a game until I complete it and then move on to another one. So I was thinking and then I could start w I could start with uh, games I'm familiar with first like Battle for Key Bomb and maybe even do Barnyard on PS2 after I complete this. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I'm only going to do this once a week for now at the most, uh, but that might change in the future. I haven't done live streams regularly since like 2014 or 2012, and even then it was only like one or two, so yeah, it's I'm definitely an experience with this whole shebang. So, um, just today, there was a new Spongebob game introduced uh, by THQ Nordic, and uh, what's it called again? Let me take a look real quick. I did watch the trailer, so I'm aware that it, that it's there. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. It's like the shake or something. What was it called? Ugh. I'm looking on uh, Twitter right now. I remember? I, forgot. I totally forgot what it's called. The Cosmic Shake, that's right, yeah. So, not counting uh, Battle for Key Bomb Rehydrate, this is the first Spongebob game since 2015. The last Spongebob game that came out that, that was actually sent around Spongebob was... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, sorry, I'm totally out of it because I only got four hours of sleep this afternoon. Uh, Hero Pants. On the yeah, it was on the Xbox 360, 3DS, and Vita, and it's based on the second movie. That was the last uh, SpongeBob game that came out, besides the uh, you know Rehydrated. I'm gonna skip reading these uh, signs because there's no point in me doing that. And I'll just start collecting uh, shiny objects. Yeah, I'm to I'm sorry, I'm totally out of it because I you know, it was just a very rough afternoon. I only got four hours of sleep, and the first two the first two hours I was trying to sleep, I I just couldn't do it, and I was like having anxiety attacks or something. Like every single time I'd fall asleep, I'd immediately wake up like freaking out over something. It was a it was a very scary first two hours trying to sleep, and then I woke up at four hours yeah after four hours of sleeping, and I couldn't go back to sleep for two hours, so I just sat there laying in bed for all that time. So, anxiety attacks suck. They really do. But in general, it's always a struggle to get proper amount of sleep when working third shift. Okay, yeah, we've already seen this. I'm not gonna. I mean, like, yeah, this, again, this is more laid back, but uh, I'm not gonna. It's, I just don't see a point in me showing everything I've already shown in two Let's Plays now I've done this game, so. So I originally let's play the Genki version back in uh, late 2012, early 2013, and then I revisited the game on the Xbox uh, a couple of years ago. So 
there's no point in me showing like any of the text and whatnot. And I don't care what people tell me, it's the O button. I'm calling it the O button, not the circle button, so get over it. <laughs> uh, no regrets. No regrets. Okay, but yeah, like I was saying about the Cosmic Shake, I watched the trailer. And uh, I gotta be honest, I'm very skeptical about this because they didn't show, like, I guess we could assume that the game is very early in development or something, but they didn't show any gameplay in the trailer. It was all just a pre-made scene and what it, what they were doing was they were, uh, you know, it's it, it came off as like pandering, like just to the nostalgic crowds about to, um, with, like, with the, the obvious reference to, uh, to a band geek, so, I don't know. I'm just very skeptical about it because of the fact that they didn't show any gameplay, but that could be just that they're, there's, they're just so early in the development, so who knows. They didn't even give a release date, so that's probably, I'm, I can almost guarantee that's probably what it was. Yeah, I had a rough time with the kelp slide back in the day, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. I don't find it as bad as I used to. Yeah, what the hell? I'll probably play Rehydrate as well here in the new future on here. I haven't even done a Let's Play of that quite yet. But yeah, I just want to start off with something simple that I'm familiar with for the first, first time coming back to streaming. We'll just leave it at that. Go away, SpongeBob. Yeah, go, SpongeBob, go! Away. That's where we put it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go and get the stuff from uh, scored in uh, Patrick's houses real quick. Yeah, I feel you, Squidward. Yeah, honestly, in Rehydra, I didn't find the uh, kelp slide to be... I, fa I actually found the kelp slide to be easier in Rehydra than I do in the original game. And even then, I've gotten kind of used to it, actually. So basically, I I don't have any issues with it playing in the original either. But, uh, we'll get to that when we get to the kelp, kelp slide. But I don't know how far I'll get in uh, two to four hours, but I can get pretty far. But yeah, PS2 has the longest save and load times for this game. But apparently it wasn't the case that time. Okay, apparently it saved instantly. Oh, that's because it's not saving, because I disabled the autosave. I wonder if I can... I totally did, it, totally did that accidentally, because I was like in a hurry, so let's see. Uh, save game. Yeah, we'll save over the uh, live stream attempt from last year. I don't know if that means it's going to save from now on when I get the golden spatulas, but it's supposed to auto-save when you get them. Hey, Patrick. Just leave it at Hey, Patrick. So for anyone who isn't in my Discord, I'm currently refraining from, re from recording any GameCube footage at all. Like, if any GameCube games. And that includes the uh, games that are played on the Game Boy Player. And the reason why is because I'm looking to getting a, uh, a GCHD MK2. I think it's by the company Eon. And basically what it does is it utilizes the uh, digital port on the back of uh, Model 1 GameCubes to, produ produ to produce uh, high-quality input from the uh, from that particular port, which, which uh, back when Nintendo originally released it, it's supposed to be used for components input, which was very new at the time, and Nintendo sold exclusively on their online store. So with those two factors combined, it did not sell very well. It, it was it sold very poorly. Very few people got it, and so Nintendo discontinued it, and they got rid of the uh, digital port on the back of the GameCubes in later models. 
So, because of that, component cables for GameCube are extremely rare and hard to find, and they cost a pretty penny to get. It's like usually two to three hundred bucks whenever you do find them, listings for them. So, um, in the past decade, people have been trying to make alternatives to replace them. And uh, one of those was the MK2, which actually utilizes both the composite and the uh, components uh, outputs on the GameCube. And so I'm going to be getting that. It's 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 pretty expensive. It's only for enthusiasts, but I'm going to get pick up myself for you know for use of my Let's Plays to produce you know the highest qual highest possible quality from GameCube games, at least using a uh, um, an actual GameCube that is. Yeah, it's really cool that people are still rewatching my old Let's Plays. I, I really appreciate that. Now my YouTube channel is no longer monetized. It's uh, it's still helpful when people do watch my videos, even though it's not bringing any revenue. But that's okay. Whatever. I do this for fun, anyways. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Alright, time to start Jellyfish Fields. Let's see how fast I can get through Jellyfish Fields. We've already been 23 minutes here, but most of that was just for me sitting in the on the PS2 boot up. So just SpongeBob say, well, well. It's because you throw your dreams down the well. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, Rehydrated. I mean, like, it's, yeah, it's got the spirit of the, I mean, it's 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 a good game to start with, you know, with, like, uh, after so many years without any good SpongeBob games, you know, to just uh, remake this uh, old good one. But... I don't know, it just doesn't have the feel of the old, the original, so... The spirit's, the spirit's just not there. It's hard to say, honestly. Like, even if I was, if I was actually playing Rehydra right now, I probably couldn't put into words, like, why exactly I prefer the original over it. So what's everyone else been playing? So I've just been... Uh, I actually just finished uh, three 120-star runs of Mario 64. What? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, crap. Hans, no! No, Hans! Oh, I'm gonna have to do the disable Hans glitch too. When we get when we go to Google Goo and I'll use it to get the to get those all those shiny objects. Yeah, I'll do that instead of grinding the robots at the bomb as a lighthouse in downtown Bikini Bomb. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Let's play. Oh, was it the? Yeah, it was Let's Play, right? Because. Uh, because now, now I've done two Let's Plays of, about, of Revenge of Flying Dutchman 2. There was the GameCube 1 2013, and also I just did the PS2 version back in uh, uh, 2019 is at the beginning of the revisit. Of course, there's also the Game Boy Advance version 2, so it also could have been the first one. Oh yeah, also, uh, this game has, uh, cheat codes, 
And I'm going to be real honest, I've never been able to activate them. Like, the in-game cheat codes for, uh, for this game. And not, like, I'm not, to not talking, like, action replay or anything. In fact, I never actually saw cheat codes for this game in action replay. But, uh, like, the in-game cheat codes, I could never get them to work for some reason. On all three ports, too. The GameCube, Xbox, PS2 version, I could never get them to work at all. And I don't know why. Not that they're all that helpful. Some of them get you a bunch of shiny objects, which is good, because, again, I... I personally never really saw the point of, uh... Of forcing the player to grind shiny objects to get... Um, all the golden spatulas from Mr. Krabs. I... I was always firmly against that. I just think it's... It, it really comes off as just padding. You know, and they made it worse with Revenge of... With, the uh, Rehydrated by, a. Uh, Essentially, more than doubling the amount of shiny objects you have to bring to Mr. Krabs. That was that was ridiculous. But even after patching it, I still I still firmly believe that. Okay, 2013 version. Yeah, I thought, thought so. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be a lot real honest. It's actually it's a lot more fun replaying old games in a live stream setting than just on my own. So yeah, I think I'll start doing this from now on. On the PS2 version, yeah. It, it's supposed to like you're supposed to hold R1 and R2, or is it R R1 and L1? It was one of the two. But I tried doing the pause screen. I start. I tried doing the actual. You know, in the game, it, it never seems to work. Try the fun J hook. They get all the shiny objects in one go, probably. Yeah, see how long that save time is? It's just that's crazy. Oh no. Honestly, after a while, I got tired of Spongebob saying dee hee hee whenever he did a bungee. I'm so used to him not doing it in the GameCube version, so... Oh, yes, this. Yeah, you could say that, sharing nostalgia, yeah. I just, it's my first time streaming, actually doing a live stream in years, so I figure I'd start with something I'm familiar with. Why not? And plus I haven't, I haven't done a Let's Play the PS2 version on my channel yet. Not that I'm ever going to, like, why, why would I ever do a third Let's Play the same game? Uh, so I figured, why not just do it in a live stream? Yeah, I can do this for Barnyard as well. Do the PS2 version. And I could use this set to demo games I haven't ever played before, too. Like, the, you know, maybe, like, like just recently, I actually got the God of War games on PS2, both the first and the second one. And around the same time, I got the God of War 3 on PS3 as well. So I have those games now. So I could probably play those blind on here as well. Like, there's a lot of possibilities with this whole live streaming thing. But for now, I want to play games I'm familiar with. So we'll start with uh, some SpongeBob games. Like, I'll probably do the SpongeBob movie as well. And uh, Creature from the Krusty Krab. Uh, I don't know about Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. If, people, if enough people are interested, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that as well. Okay. Yeah, I could tell that the... I think another thing that threw me off about the, uh, the trailer for uh, Cosmic Shake was... Uh, I guess the game engine, because, like, I don't know if it's the same one. That the, uh, I'd have to assume maybe it's the same one they used in Re Rehydrated, which would make sense. But that one also reminds me too much of the... 
of the Activision SpongeBob games, you know, Hero Pants and uh, Plankton's Robotic Revenge. And we all know how those games played out. So whenever I think of that, those graphics, I just or game engine or whatever, it just uh, just brings back dull memories of those. Oh, your phone's dying. That sucks. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me for as long as you did. Now, I'm not going to be able to do this on uh, Friday nights, or even weekend nights for that matter, on a regular basis. Because I only just so happen to be on vacation from work, from work this week, so that's why I'm able to do it whatever night I want. But, uh... In following weeks, I'm probably going to have to do it, uh, I'm limited to Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday nights, essentially, so it's going to have to be one of those three. Which really sucks, because I know people aren't going to be available most of those times, but that's what I'm going to do. Well, actually, Sunday nights are, are occupied for me, too, because uh, that's a game night with, uh, with my United We Play friends, so, uh, it'll have to be Monday or Tuesday nights, uh, on a regular basis if I do, let's, if I do these live streams weekly, but, uh, yeah, that's just how it's going to have to be, unfortunately. I don't know, I guess it really doesn't matter, like, what when I do stream, honestly, because, uh... I'm sure there's a I'm sure there's an audience for no matter what what what, what day of the week you stream so who knows. All right, here we go, jellyfish caves. Rest in peace, Ernest. Even though it's not Ernest is playing Furry Man here, but, uh, yeah, still. Actually, is a. What's his name? Is it Joe White or. Yeah, Joe White, I think it was. Uh, I wonder if he's still around. Because Joe White played both, uh, Mr. Krabs and, uh, Murray Man in this game. Oh! Oh, it's. Yeah, that did that that hasn't happened before. Not in a while, at least maybe it's in that sock. Alright, let's try again. Normally I, I do not miss that sock. Although I will say, out of all three of the ports, uh with the kelp kelp slide, or kelp vines is what it's called. I did have the most trouble with the PS2 version, but I don't know I don't know why, but I find the dual shock to be not as comfortable with that. Uh, doing intensive stuff like that with, with the slides. But that could just be me. But yeah, next on my next paycheck, or probably the one after that, I will invest in the... Uh, that GameCube, uh, GameCube adapter as well as, a, a webcam of sorts. I know I should have gotten one, like, ages ago. I really should have, but... Uh, I have a problem in the form of, a uh, retro game collecting, let's just say that much. <laughs> uh, just the other day, I actually got, a uh, three big GameCube games. They got uh, Mario Sports games, uh, Super Mario Strikers, uh, Mario All-Star Baseball or something like that. Something along those lines. And a Mario Power Tennis. All three of those games on GameCube at one store. I, I was very lucky. In fact, I think I now have every GameCube game with Mario in the title in it actually now. But yeah, I was already thinking of doing like a a weekly demo series where I just try out games for the first time. But I think a live the live streams be a good uh, platform to do that actually. 
Yeah, Mario Superstar Baseball, that's the one. Whatever the one on GameCube is called. Yeah, I think there was one on... I can't remember what the one was called on Wii, though. If there was a... Or, or is Mario Super Sluggers or something like that? Is that what's called on Wii, I think? There's also a... I also got a couple of Virtual Boy games, too. Because I happen to have that thing. Um, and they were... Today I got uh, Mario Clash and Tellero Boxer. Both of them were in their box, and they had a Blockbuster stickers on them. From 1996. Tellero Boxer was actually only 50 bucks. Okay, so... Uh, Super Sluggers, Strikers Charge, Power Tennis, Adaptive Week. Yeah, I have all three of those, too. Actually, I think I have Super Sluggers. I'm not 100% sure. I might be missing Super Sluggers. But, uh... None of those I play, except for Mario Power Tennis. That one, there's a lot of nostalgia in there for me, because I did play that as a kid. Uh, especially on the GameCube. I love that opening cutscene with Wario and Waluigi. I wish we could get more of those, because those those were fantastic. I think Mario Golf uh, Toadstool Tol Tour had that too. And that one I have not seen extens extensively. Oh, what, what am I doing? I'm supposed to go to the other side, because the box will take you right back up to the top again. Yeah, I backtrack back here just to get that sock with Patrick, just to get it out of the way. So otherwise, it's always, a, it's always a pain in the ass to get to. Yeah, unfortunately, we're probably never going to get any of those ever again, because now... You saw Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Nintendo's gotten a bit lazy with their Mario Sports games lately. Well, I don't know. Uh, I haven't tried Tennis Aces, so I don't know how good that is. But uh, Ultra Smash, yeah, that left a lot to be a lot to be desired. Go Ultra Smash on Wii U. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't see that happening again anytime soon. Because Nintendo has realized at this point they can just be lazy and get away with whatever. Of course, I'm guilty. I'm guilty of buying their shit too. Although I did, I did get. Uh, I've been buying more of their games secondhand lately, though. So I'm not, I'm not giving them a ton of money. A lot more of it's going to the game stores, not Nintendo. Bus stop. Hmm, this is a great place for bus stop. I've seen a lot of bus stops like this, uh, you know, in the back when I lived in the Seattle area, like on these uh, green cliff tops above water. Yeah, good times. I remember waiting at the bus stop for hours at one of those. Yeah, going back to uh, the Cosmic Shake, I think it was. I'm going to keep on forgetting the title, aren't I? Yeah, the Cosmic Shake. Uh, all they did was basically make like a... a, a like just pander with the, with the Band Geeks references. That's all they did. And they didn't really give us much information about the game, like regarding plot, gameplay, or anything like that. We have no idea... From that trailer alone, what this game is going to be about? Like, what's this? What's exactly exactly is the story here? What's what? What's the gameplay like? What's it going to be? Like, there's just so little information that uh, I'm just very skeptical. Left very skeptical about the upcoming game. I just hope it's not going to be another Hero Pants when what what it all comes down to. <laughs> 
pretty much the crux of my skepticism there. In case anyone's wondering, uh, lately I've been playing uh, a lot of uh, GTA V with uh, with friends. I've been experiencing that game for the very first time ever. You know, eight years after it came out, almost. And now I'm getting this news that they're uh, gonna be just porting it to the Xbox Series X and PS5, which is very disappointing. Instead of making GTA VI. But uh, yeah, from a financial this from a financial standpoint it makes sense, but still it's very disappointing that they're not just gonna make a new game. I can definitely tell you I'm not gonna be getting it on the Series X because well my friends and I are already playing on the PS4 and I'm the only one of us who has an Xbox Series X, so there's no point in me getting the Series X version when it comes out. If I'm gonna get a GTA game on the Xbox Series X, I'd rather just get a new one. I always have trouble with this one stack of tiki's here. There you go. Amy's Amy nags always kind of weird. All right. We're about halfway through. A oh, you bro you destroyed my fruit. Is that has that ever happened to anyone in real life? Like you're just carrying. Like, uh, walking around carrying a watermelon or a piece of fruit, and then you walk up to a sign, and just immediately the, the fruit, like, just, uh, spontaneously explodes while you're reading the sign. Does that ever happen to anyone? Let me know. Because that's very unusual. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess you could make, I, could, I guess you could say that. I guess you could say it's just a teaser, so they're not going to show, like, anything to take care of. I don't know. I guess it's the whole angle of, uh... Um... <clears throat> not... Of, like, just showing the... You know, just making a Band Geeks parody to... Or not parody, but, like, uh, just, uh... Band Geeks references to get people excited. Um, Alright. Oops. I'm supposed to press. Oh! There we go. Yeah, definitely feel free to share whatever games you've been playing lately, because uh, I'd like to know. Ooch. Patrick, it's not ooch, it's oof. Seriously? There we go. I can have this explode while I'm grabbing the golden spatula. That way, as long as I'm touching the golden spatula, I'm invincible. Was that like four or five seconds for saving? It's funny, like whenever people do complain about uh, games on the PS2 having long load times, I'm always gonna be like, "Well, just get the Xbox version." I mean, like that's more of a pr more of an issue with the hardware than the actual game itself. Yes. Yes. I love that voice clip. Patrick's saying, yes. I don't know why. I guess you could say I'm shallow. Oh no, it's Tartar! I just threw a bunch of glass at this guy. I hope he's okay. 
It'll never be the same again, that's for sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah, going back to uh, Mario 64, I, I did 320 star runs because I now have three different cartridges of that game, and there are different different versions, too. But, uh, after that, I was thinking I'd play through Mario Galaxy, and I was going to be doing Super Luigi Galaxy. And in the process of doing that, I'm going to be skipping all the Cosmic Luigi stars, and I'm going to be saving those for the bonus, the long-awaited bonus episode of Mario Galaxy that I've been it's been taking me five years to get around to. And uh, that's going to have me doing the Cosmic Luigi races and also getting the 121st star. To finally close off that Let's Play for Good. Because, yeah, it's taking me a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of time to get around to that. I'm going to do the same thing with Paper Mario because there's also stuff I didn't show in that game as well. And I want to get around to, do, to that before I do the uh, Paper Mario 2 Let's Play. I know it's one of the games people really want me to do, and also it's another thing I'm holding off on because of the the GameCube situation. It's funny, actually. Oh, most powerful enemy is Joy-Con. Oh yeah, <laughs> I would assume so. And yeah, don't worry, I'll get around to continue that blind LP in the near future. I just can't say for sure when, because, uh... What I was thinking I would do is I would just record, like, seven episodes, and then just have them publish, and wait, wait to get feedback on them before I record any more. Probably just do something like that. I do want to hear this line from Saint Miss Puff again, though. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> did I get a cookie? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta switch back to SpongeBob. Got call the bus in the middle of jellyfish fields, right by these cliffs, over water. It's too bad there's no sneak sneak button, like actually a button you can press to sneak, right? Uh, I don't know, my mic is a, it's a pretty decent mic, it's a Getty Nano, so it's, I mean, I guess I could switch to... I could switch the settings on the microphone so it's not so, it doesn't pick up a lot of background noise, I apologize for that. Much of Metro Prime Trilogy, since there's no, I don't think there is any vibration in that game. But uh, my, I don't know, because I was, I was using this microphone during the uh, Xbox LP too. So, well, at least not the first five parts, but the the rest of it, yeah. And I'm pretty sure the there's vibration in that port as well. So, hopefully, it didn't, was picking up too much in that LP, but it might have. Yes, and no, I took a hit there. I don't care. Again, I'm no speedrunner. Welcome, Van. Yeah, just chilling here. It's been about an hour, I think. Yeah, almost an hour now. But, uh, yep. we we'll continue on for now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could at least get through a downtime bikini bomb in this, uh, live stream, but... Yeah, you know, honestly, I could play for however long. I... Just as a minor to everyone here, um, I work third shift, so I'm pr typically up all night, and I sleep in the afternoons. So, I could pretty much... I could do this, like, all night if I wanted to. Because my... my day of sorts technically just started. But, uh, 
yeah, when I do get around to doing weekly live streams, probably starting uh, next week, who knows. Um, it's going to be either Mondays or Tuesday nights every week. Um, I can't do it on weekends because that's when I work. Um, but yeah, it's very likely um, after I finish uh, Battle for Key Bomb, I will move on to uh, the Spongebob movie. I'll probably do that. I never get this uh, purple shiny object. I might, I might go ahead and suicide to get it, but who knows? Okay. Oh, actually, that worked out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm just being greedy or whatever. I mean, like, it seems like I'm way ahead on the shiny objects, and that's because I'm collecting, like, every single one I possibly could on the way. But even then, that's still not going to be enough to get all the shiny objects to Mr. Krabs, uh, organically, essentially. Like, you have to... You have to stop and, uh, and grind at some point to get... if you're going to get all the shiny objects to Mr. Krabs. So that's why, when we get to Goo Lagoon, I'm going to be doing the, uh, No Hans glitch to grind shiny objects from the, uh... Oh wait, no I can't, because I have to... You need the bubble bowl in order to do it, actually do the whole process with the, uh... Because there's a glitch where you can grind shiny objects from the... Uh, the ski ball machine in Goo Lagoon. So that's what I'm going to be doing in this playthrough to get all the shiny objects I need to do everything. You know, including, uh, pay Mr. Krabs and also get the, uh... The theater. Even though it's going to serve pretty much on purpose, because I already showed that in both LPs too, I think. But yeah, I've used that uh, glitch like twice now, and I just find it more time efficient than uh, grinding robots at the bottom of the uh, downtown Bikini Bomb Lighthouse. Recently, I also got the GameCube version of uh, Simpsons Hit and Run. I was thinking I would play that off screen to get a better feel for the game so I can continue to Let's Play. Because uh, I also feel bad for not finishing that as well. This dude almost got 10 people here. It's awesome. I'm sure most of you are from, are from my Discord server, but still. Either way, welcome. Thank you for coming by. Socks. I don't know why they put so many Patrick socks in Jellyfish Fields alone. There's just like 14 in here just alone? Yeah. I'll probably try out one, try and see if I can get the cheat codes working at some point during this live stream. Who knows? Maybe I'll try it next week. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, what the hell? I'll go up here and get those shiny objects real quick. Yes, I remember too. It's been fun meeting people through Discord, actually. Even though there's not that much uh, interaction on there, it's still it's still a fun laid-back place to talk every now and then with people. Okay, excuse me. I'm trouble with the wall jump here. There we go. Hey, why can't you dab? I want to see you dab. Uh, I guess you won't for 17 years, will ya?
Yeah, sometimes with how long it takes to save on the PS2 version, sometimes I actually think that the... Uh, sometimes it convinces me that's, that's like, glitching, or, or that's freezing. Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle King Jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> by being all caring and whatnot. I knew <laughs> And then, of course, we got that glitch where it doesn't play the boss battle theme. That glitch is on all three of the ports, I do believe, the console ports. <clears throat> but yeah, for those wondering, uh, the next game in the SpongeBob LP Marathon is uh, Battle for Keep On Game Boy Advance. I'm getting around to that as soon as I get the that adapter for my GameCube. Revealed a secret uh, slide. Did it is. Can anybody translate what he was saying? Does anybody speak buzz, 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 buzz? Oh no, I almost drowned in the shallow water there. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Uh, but yeah, if there's any other games you guys want me to play after, uh, get through some of these Spongebob games, I can, yeah, just go ahead and suggest them. Uh, if you're curious as to what games I own that I could potentially play on here, uh, check my backloggery. It's, uh, backloggery.com. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll to, I think I have a link to it in my, on my YouTube channel in the, the about box or whatever. <laughs> um... And you can see what games I own there, and my completion stats, and all of them too. In fact, I highly recommend Backloggery if you're someone who likes to collect games or wants to complete every game in your collection. I highly recommend that website. It helps you keep track of what games you own, and whatnot. Play Battle for Keep Bomb on OG Xbox anytime, and including on Nintendo Switch. I think I'm doing it. Um, I would, uh, if you can get any other port besides the Switch version, I would recommend it. Uh, the Switch version is the worst version of uh, Rehydrated. It's 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 playable, but uh, it does have some issues with the controls and whatnot. Although, then again, they might patch it since I last played it. But yeah, I played through it, uh, the the Switch version first when it came out. And I was not happy with it. I think the Switch actually soured my first impressions of uh, Rehydrate, actually. I had a much better time when I played it on PS4 and uh, Xbox One. As well as PC. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Same way thinking of... Uh, is it born again crabs or something like that? When they're watching the washing machines at the laundromat. Okay. So I think we're done with jellyfish fields. Yes, we are. So we just got the two socks that we need the uh, later bower power or bubble power ups to get. Yeah, it's from the, uh... Yeah, digital PS4, Xbox One, yeah. It's, uh... 
I'd recommend playing on there instead of the Switch version, unless you like have to, unless you have only the Switch or you really want to play it portably, and that's that's fine. Okay. Oh, got to get our our spatula spatula from uh, Patrick. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home. Now they're back home. Yeah, if you you can also get the uh, PC version. I'd also recommend that one too. That's the best. Uh, goes without saying, but you know, PC Master Race, blah 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 blah. <laughs> uh. I'm kind of in between both camps, honestly. I just don't care either way. I'll play console, I'll play PC, whatever works. For me, it all comes down to the whole space, or... Yeah, just space on, like, different hard, dri hard drives and whatnot. Downtown Bikini Bottom. That's what? Not kept that big. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. <laughs> Number one with bikini this puff of sound kind of creepy there. She's like, SpongeBob. Spongebob. Yay, Spongeball! Yeah, like, even... I honestly don't even find the, uh, Rolling Ball Arena to be that bad either nowadays. Of course, I could... I'm probably gonna screw up with this being a live stream and all once we get around to that, and, uh, the Mermelair. Use the cheat codes of both moves? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, if you would just want to get those uh, socks and gold spatulas early on, early on. But yeah, I can never get the cheat codes to work. Uh, let me look, look them up real quick and see if I can try them out. Just look them on cheatcodes.com or whatever. I don't know if I'm going to do the bubble moves. Well, I'll, I'll just try whichever ones. Cheat codes, bow for key bomb. I guess you can call us a little break too, but uh, an unofficial break of sorts, but just gonna be checking out the cheats real quick. Uh, PS2. Unlock all monsters in Monster Gallery? Oh, so there's hidden uh, Artwork in the uh, music in the movie theater, I guess. Just one for ten gold spatulas. Yeah, I don't want that. Checking GameSpot real quick for the cheats. Uh. Wait, what? Apparently, the tubelet mon the tubelet robots will do. If you play Balfour Key Bomb on St. Patrick's Day, tubelets will have a will shoot green flames instead of the usual orange. That's interesting. Never noticed that before. Okay, uh, let's see. There's one for no pants. It says circle, 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 square, circle, circle, square, circle, square, square, circle. Okay, and it says, entry location, pause the game, then hold L1 and R2 and enter a code quick. Yeah, it doesn't work, I swear. Like, is it supposed to do activate the options when you're trying to enter the codes? Uh, Spongebob disintegrate when killed. Oh, <laughs> that happens in the movie game, but uh, I guess it's a cheat code in the, in Balfour Key Bomb. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working, like, at all. Like, I, I can try L, just L1 and R1. 
or just a L2 and R2? I don't know. But I feel like it's not supposed to be activating the uh, the pause menu or the options menu. I feel like it's not supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know. Circle, square, circle, square, square, circle, square, circle. Uh, yeah, I can't get I can't get the cheat codes to work. Okay. Let me get out of the way of this thing. Oh, whoopsie. To hold triggers and press buttons fast to activate the codes. Yeah, I, I, I've i tried so many times, like, on all three ports, and I just can never get them to work, like, any of them, so... I don't know what it is. I can I can get the cheat codes to activate just fine in the Spongebob movie game, but... Yeah, in this game, I can't. I can never get the codes to work. Let that sink in. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you heard that. Dual shock was vibrating insanely there. Speaking of vibrating, uh, one of the versions of Mario 64 I have is the uh, Japanese uh, Shindo release. Um, because at first it was original Japanese release in May or yeah, June 1996. And then they released in America in September 96. And then July 97, they re-released it again in Japan, and that time it, it utilizes the Rumble function, uh, the Rumble Pack on the Nintendo 64. So you can play the game with a Rumble rum, Rumble Pack, essentially, or Rumble features. And so those were the three versions that I played and I happen to own now. In fact, I have a 14 uh, Japanese Nintendo 64 cartridges, actually. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And uh, Mario 64 is an eventual Let's Play on my channel. It's just going to be... I just have a specific plan for it, but uh, as to which of the three cartridges I'm going to play, I have no idea. Because I want to do something different to differentiate my Let's Play from the other millions that have done that game, because it's been... It's one of those games that are so heavily done that's hardly worth doing as a Let's Play, because it's been covered to death, essentially. Of course, I could also play the 3D All-Stars version just to get the ups upscale textures, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. G-Love. Oh, you know what, this one? I didn't even need to do this, actually. Just do this. Or... There you go. That's all you gotta do with that. I swear the voice clips are lower quality in the GameCube version of this game, but maybe that's just me. I guess they sound more high quality in the PS2 and Xbox versions. I did have this crazy idea for the uh, SpongeBob movie game. Uh, when I get around to doing the uh, slides, the slide and the. Uh, a wa the paddy wagon missions. I could uh, maybe by some crazy chance get Pie Guy rules on here to to commentate with me while I play it. I don't know. I thought that'd be like a really crazy idea, but uh, just might work one of them. Maybe. I don't know. I doubt he'd be interested though. I don't want him to feel pressured either to join me for that. If it means anything, I'm happy I was able to help him out with getting the socks in this game, though, when he did his Let's Play. Okay, now I gotta do the 
thing to get across the past the gates here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, shortcuts you can open up here in downtown to keep on by opening up all these gates. I'll need to get down, get around a lot quicker. Let's see what else is going on. I heard about uh, some uh, crossover between a Courage Cowardly Dog and uh, what was the other show? There's a crossover with the. Uh, I totally forgot what the other show was. Was it Scooby-Doo? No, it couldn't have been. I mean, that'd be a very fitting crossover, but still, uh, yeah, probably not. I just there's something about that, and that's what's been people have been talking about lately. All right. Oh, that's right. You gotta trigger more destruction in order to get more stuff done, you know. Got playing to the robot sick game. Ah! That jump is so easy to make, that was ridiculous. Let's see, whatever, what other games I pick up recently. Uh, another highlight, I guess, is uh, Paper Mario, the original on Nintendo 64, like an actual N64 cartridge of the game. And uh, it's kind of a big deal because that game did not sell well back when it first came out. Uh, because it came out like so late in the N64's life. Uh, we got it in August of 2001, I think. That also didn't sell well, uh, the same as uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, because they both came out that last year. The Nintendo 64 people were getting ready for the uh, GameCube at the time. Well, more specifically, people were moving on to jump ship to the PS2, actually. <laughs> yeah. Not the best times for Nintendo there. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Huh. Who would lock their door from the inside at their own place? What do you think, Bubble Buddy? <laughs> That's just like one of the silliest questions I've ever heard in this entire game. Like, why would you ask something like that? Like, that's... Especially this day and age. I can make it through here. Yeah! Alright. It's easier. I could probably stream it on YouTube at some point as well. I don't know what's easier for everyone is if I stream it here or on YouTube. Because I kind of play around with both ideas, honestly. Eh, I don't know. Beats the hell out of me, SpongeBob. Sometimes I just take the hit from Thunder, Thunder Tiki because I just don't care. Like, I'm gonna die either way. I probably will, but, like, dying... Dying in general is just not that consequential in this game. It really isn't. There's no life system, and you don't get put back that far, so... There's really not much consequence to dying in this game. You know, same for Spongebob movie game, unless you're in the middle of doing those, uh... Uh... Spongebob and... Patty Wagon challenges. Yeah, yeah. 
feel like there's more rumble with the PS2 version than any of the other other three other two actually. But that might just be me. I guess I could disable too if I want to. Eh, I don't mind it. It was nice experiencing it on Mario 64, that's for sure. time how fast my playthroughs are of this game at some point. I thought doing a, a long play just like I did with the Revenge of Flying Dutchman, see how fast I could beat the game. So I might do that at some point. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing the PC version of this game actually too at some point because uh for the, and that will be next after the Game Boy Advance version. Um, because it is quite different from the, from that one. I don't think it, I don't think it gets enough, uh, as much talk as it should. Because it's a pretty decent way to play that game. Yeah, Sandy's Lasso seems to really bring out the, the most vibration from the rumble feature. Especially whenever you use it on, uh, those G-logs like that. Make sure that it was uh wasn't missing any of the chat. All right. Now here's another one. Gonna swig a Pepsi real quick. If folks have any questions for me, I can uh, I can answer them if you have them in the chat. I'm pretty much cool with answering whatever questions. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy, boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yeah, I don't feel like it. We'll let Spongebob do that. You can borrow Sandy's lasso, can't you, Spongebob? Alright. Oh, that's right. Uh, just recently I picked up the uh, Blu-ray a uh, Blu-ray copy of the uh, third Spongebob movie. And I have not seen it yet. I was thinking of doing like a first, first impressions uh, video. Watching, or... Like uh, and sharing my thoughts on the game on the movie as I watch it. Cause yeah, at this time I have not seen the movie at all. I was thinking I'd do that since I was a pretty big fan of the first two movies. Like I I'd even argue I actually like the second movie more than the first one. Too bad I didn't get as good of a game though. That's for sure. It's weird how they use like a. Like a weird mix of the uh, Flying Dutchman Graveyard theme here.
Dual Shock Rumble again. That's y'all for birdie. So I still got uh, four nights off from the next four nights off from work after tonight, so. Yeah, I'm only about like halfway through my vacation, so. What exactly am I gonna do? I have no idea. I just don't have I just don't have the money unfortunately to spend on you know, stuff that I really want for these uh these streams. Well I'll get them eventually. I have no idea what Sandy just said there. Another thing I could do is like a forced cookie stream, like a, I know Proton John does that, so I might try something like that too. Because he uses backloggery.com just like I do, to, he uses the forged cookie thing to just play random games, so I might try that too as well. I don't know, just any way to get through my backlogger and at least play the games that I have. I just think it'd be good for me to like have an excuse to just try out games, you know, just to try them and see if I like them. I need to step out of my comfort zone and just play something that I've never played before and give it a try. There's another one. Hello, Pretty sure I wasn't supposed to be able to get that sock yet, but oh well. Okay, there's a second Duplicatotron directly under this one, by the way. Just fun fact about that. It's out of boundaries, but it's there, because you can see it, ex you can tell it explodes, like, right after the first one does. That's just very weird. Oh, I forgot to use a sea needle. Crap. I'm gonna have to do that. Ugh. <sighs> I should try to sleep longer, I know, but it just wasn't just gonna do any good for me. I still, to this day, by the way, um, I still haven't to this day got the uh, Game Boy Advance version from Barnyard. I have not gonna try that yet, as well as the PC version. I can't even find listings of the PC version on, at least on Amazon. Maybe I can find one on eBay, maybe. I'm sure I could find the Game Boy Advance version easy. But I have no idea how much it, how it compares to the console versions. at the lighthouse. Some fun times ahead of us there. I guess I could grind for a little bit and just kind of chat, actually. Yeah, I, 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 I might as well do that. So what I'll do is I'll get to the bottom of the lighthouse and we'll all grind shiny objects for a bit, and during that time I could uh, just chat with the audience for a bit. That'd be a cool thing to do, just to get a few shiny objects in.
Oh no, the game crashed. No! <laughs> Good old PS2 fooling me like that. I was also thinking of like trying like uh, RPGs on here too, like Kingdom Hearts and whatnot. Because I have the main three are, are Kingdom Hearts games, but not the full story, obviously. But, yeah. There's just, like all sorts of possibilities that could, that could be on here. Here? Nope. Probably not. Let's see. Okay, I might be in a fine enough spot right now. Alright. Bought Pac Man World 2 for OG Xbox and SpongeBob Super Sponge PS1 from eBay. They'll come in the mail for a few days soon. Okay. Pac-Man World 2, uh, I think I have that too, I haven't played it yet. Um, Super Sponge, yeah, I did the Let's Play of that in the Spongebob Marathon. That one, eh, it's, it's okay, it's fun to go back to, but it's not one of those games I'd want to play seriously. I did not have a fun time with that in the Let's Play, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna grind shiny objects for a bit, and then, uh, so if you folks have any questions for me, um, now would be a good time to ask them. Of course, I could also answer them while playing the game, but still, I just want to grind shiny objects for a bit. I'm not going to grind for the full 40,000 that you need for Mr. Krabs. Because, uh, well, actually, yeah, to pay Mr. Krabs for all the shiny objects, you need until 39,500 exactly. And they need an additional 40,000 for the, the movie theater in the third area of Bikini Bottom, so there's that too. Sure, everyone can hear me just fine too. Actually, Let me make sure real quick. Dang, you can hear my controller. Try to change the settings of my microphone again. Now you can still hear it. Yeah, it's just the microphone, I guess. Okay, let's just turn off the rumble feature. There we go, now you don't have to listen to that. I probably should have announced this with uh, everyone before. 
Like, giving it 30 minutes or so at least, but whatever. Check and see if anyone saw it on the, uh... Social feeds. Okay, that's, uh, I think that's good enough for now. I guess I was going to try and get up to 10,000, but whatever. There'll be much more efficient way to, to grind later on this stream, I promise. Or not, well, not this stream, but probably the next one. Again? There's a second explosion there, that's that's just weird. I don't know why, sometimes there's always like a two two explosions but with, with one duplicate Otron. Talk at the top of the lighthouse real quick. And we still gotta do the scene deal before we finish off a uh, downtown bikini bottom. <whistles> Alright, time to get lecture from Bubble Buddy about uh, why you should leave your door unlocked from the inside. <laughs> Well, no duh, bubble buddy. Okay, fine, fine, I'll go do the sea needle. Mom. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the sea needle. Yes, yes it is. The one 
what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects. Where? Where are they at, Mr. Krabs? You feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Oh, this is a test test stream, so I don't expect a lot of people to be here, so. I don't know, I'm probably going to stop uh, once we finish uh, Downtown Bikini Bottom. Uh, and then I'll probably do another one on either Monday or Tuesday night just to get the, the weekly streams going. And uh, feel free to join me at that point, essentially. Because I kind of did this did this stream on the fly, so obviously can't expect a lot of people to show up, so I will. And now it's after we finish this stream that the this is going to be weekly things start on Monday or Tuesday nights. I'm thinking probably Monday nights. That second hook. Okay, now I see why people love uh, Battle Freaky Bomb so much because uh, there's a lot of hooks in this game to keep you going. Uh, yay, bad jokes. <laughs> Yeah, if I had really done this in real life, I would be essentially fainting right now. Just this side alone, that would actually cause me to faint. Because I'm so deathly afraid of heights. Yeah, the Thunder Tiki's are just very weird in how they act on here. Like, you have to, like, not be diving when you touch them. That way you don't take the damage. You just activate them instead of making them explode on the spot there. Oh, come on. It's because there's got to be a Stone Tiki on top of them, of course. A Stoned Tiki. Like, do your weed somewhere else. Shh. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you can do whatever you want. Good work, boy. Here's the golden special. I pay trust. Why thank you, Mr. Krabs. Can you feel it now? There we have it. I'm done with a uh, downtown bikini bomb now. Here, let's give ourselves a shortcut here. Oh, am I missing a sock? Don't tell me I'm missing a sock. Oh wait, I know what I know what it is. I don't know what it is. How did you fall? <laughs> How did you fall? So you gotta be sandy in order to get this other sock. Which socks? <laughs> but it is what it is. Switch to Sandy real quick. Uh, is it a uh... shoot? Where is it again? Oh yeah, it's over here. What I need to do is just do this. I 
All right, there we go. I'm gonna detonate these real quick to get some fast, easy, shiny objects. Okay, back to Bikini Bomb. Okay, folks, uh, so that's going to be it for tonight. Um, so I couldn't go on for any longer. Uh, it seems like people were leaving anyways. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to start doing this on Monday nights at 8, 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, starting this coming week. And, uh, yeah, I'll continue a battle for Key Bomb on uh, next Monday, and then we'll go from there. We'll probably finish the game uh, within a few weeks or so. And then I'll probably either play either Barnyard or SpongeBob Movie. We'll go from there. So uh, thanks for joining me for this uh, first live stream. Uh, again, it's just a test stream, so I wasn't expecting to get a lot of people anyways, especially with me announcing it so uh, close to, this, to it starting. Uh, but thanks to the few people who stayed for the end. And uh, again, feel free to ask me any questions you have um, in the next stream. And I uh, will see you folks next week. Thank you so much for coming.